It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Thanks for stopping by. Today I am making Lady Law cookies for a wedding. And there's some prep that you have to do if you've never made Lady Law cookies before. You will need to get dowel sticks, and these ones are about a half an inch in diameter. And then you would be cutting them. These are three inches. These are a little bit over four. Over the years, I've made more dowel sticks, and I just cut them different sizes. To prepare these dowel sticks to be used as the form for the Lady Lock dough, you will, the first time you ever make them, you will grease these sticks very well with Crisco and bake them in the oven. I don't know what temperature it's been years since I've done it, but you're probably going to bake them at about 350, 375 for 30 minutes or so. Then the first time or the second and third time even when you are making your lady locks, you may need to grease them or spray them with cooking spray so that the cookies don't stick. After you've used them several times, you're not going to have to do that because the wood's going to absorb all of the oils and it becomes almost self-stick. Every now and then, though, I scrub them really well because that oil gets built up on them. And, you know, just dry them thoroughly. The puff pastry dough that I use comes from Mary Lou's Party World. And it comes in one big sheet, but they cut it into about five inch squares. That's how I purchase it. You may find it different in your market. And in the future, maybe I'll show you how to make it from scratch. Then I lay out six pieces of parchment. And on some of them, I have drawn an eight inch by six inch rectangle. So that gives me an idea of how big I want to roll these out. If I'm making a whole lot of cookies, I'm going to put every piece of dough out in this pack and then I'll roll it out and cut it. All the dough in that one pack has been laid out. You can see that I have floured it on the bottom and on the top. You don't have to press it very hard. This dough will roll out pretty easily. So I'm going to my line there and I'm turning it and I'm checking to make sure that it's not sticking because when I cut it, I want the pieces of dough to come up very easily and not stick. So I'll do that with all the pieces of dough and then I'll show you how I cut it. All the dough has been rolled out and I have some guidelines here to help me cut, but I don't always do that. Also, just make sure that your dough is loose. So I'm cutting these a half an inch to three quarters of an inch apart. You can see by my cutting, it's not always perfect. And it the cookies are just fine. And this one, I'll just let that be a larger cookie. And you can always just, instead of putting guidelines, put a ruler there and take a look at how you're cutting it. Now I will cut all of the pieces and come back on camera to show you how I roll them. I get about 10 to 12 strips of dough when I'm making this. And you can pile them up if you have limited counter space. I'm going to move those over. Have your oven preheated to 375. And I have just a tiny bit of water in this little bowl. What I have found is if I just put a tiny bit of water on the very bottom of these. It helps them stick together better, helps the dough stick together better, and prevents little tails from forming when it's baking. So I'll start the dough and do not roll it really tightly around the rods. And right there is where the water is, so I give it a little press. When I put it on the cookie sheet, I press it down a little bit as well. I'm really trying to avoid getting tails. I'll show you a few more. If you roll it really tightly around the stick when they're done baking, it's hard to get them off the stick. So you can see with that little dab of water, it's holding it together. And again, I give it a tiny little push, trying to ensure I'm not gonna get some tails. Now, midway through baking, I'll look at it. If I'm seeing some tells, I might turn the dough over. I'll show you if I get any tells. 
Okay, I have a full tray here and I'm just pressing down, make sure that I did press down. I'm trying to avoid getting little tails coming up. Not pressing extremely hard though. What they look like as they're baking. Right now, I don't see any tails. Cookies are finished baking. They are slightly brown and I will let them cool about 30 seconds on the dowel sticks before I take them off. You absolutely have to take them off the dowel sticks before they cool too much or they will become soggy. Also, they need to be put on a cooling rack and what I do is I put newspaper underneath my cooling racks. It catches the crumbs and it saves a little bit on cleanup. In about 30 seconds, so when I take them off, I twist the rod just a little bit, trying to make sure that I'm not crushing the cookie. And here's another one. And if it's too hot, you may want to use tongs. Just turn it a little bit. I hope you can see that. Let's see, let's try to get it again so you can see. Just hold the cookie firm and turn it. One more, holding the cookie kind of firm and just pulling it out. Before reusing the cookie sheet, make sure that you wash it off and dry it before reloading it with cookies. When I'm finished baking, I wash the sticks in soapy water, then I rinse them. The oven is still warm from baking, so I put the rinsed dowel sticks on a tea towel and let them dry in the oven. The next step is to fill an icing decorator or pastry bag with our filling and I fill it from both sides. I want to make sure that I get frosting, filling, whatever you want to call it, coming out both sides. I don't want any hollow innards. Then next, I roll the cookies in powdered sugar. And at this point, they are ready to serve or ready to freeze, whatever you're planning to do with them. You can look how pretty. And of course, so flaky, so delicious. Your powdered sugar will pack down, so just stir it up with your finger or a spoon. Okay, all of the cookies have been filled and rolled in powdered sugar. There is a layer of parchment paper in between each one. All that's left to do is put the lid on. And in my case, I'm freezing them for the wedding, but if you made them right before the wedding, they're ready to go. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that you will give this a try.